Welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Inspired Japanese Cooking. Today, I'd like to show you how to cook the teriyaki burger. In Japan, at McDonald's, we have a teriyaki burger on the menu, and it's one of the most popular burgers in Japan. We use ground pork meat for the teriyaki burger, but it's quite difficult to get a ground pork at the grocery stores in the US, and I think the texture of the plant-based meat is quite similar to the ground pork. So I use this plant-based meat today. It's very tasty like real meat. So even though you're not vegan, it's worth to try my recipe. Let's get started. First, divide the plant-based meat into two portions to make two burger patties. If you find ground pork, you can use it instead of the plant-based meat. Then shape into patties just slightly bigger than the buns you plan to use and make it between half to three quarter inch thick. If it's ground pork, you can make it thicker than this. But for the plant-based meat, it'll taste more like real meat if the patties are not thick. Then make a little while in the center of each patty. This will prevent the patty from puffing up too much in the center. Season both sides of the patty with salt and black pepper to get ready to grate them. Add a cooking oil on a pan high to medium heat, and then place the patties. Cook both sides to get a nice charred surface. We cook the teriyaki sauce and meat together in the pan later on, so it's easy to just use a pan rather than a grill for this recipe. While cooking the patties, let's make lemon mayonnaise sauce. McDonald's in Japan uses lemon flavored mayonnaise, and it tastes so good and refreshing. So if you have the time, it's worth making it. Just mix mayonnaise, squeeze lemon, milk and sugar together. If you want to stick with the vegan option, use vegan mayonnaise and almond milk. But please add a little bit more sugar when you use the vegan mayonnaise. And this light refreshing mayo goes so well with the teriyaki sauce. Then take the patties out of the pan and wipe off the excess oil. Before making the sauce, let's toss the buns a little bit in the pan. After tossing the buns, add a soy sauce, mirin, which is Japanese sweet sake for cooking, and grated garlic and ginger. I just used the chipped garlic and ginger this time to make it easier, but if you have fresh ones, of course please use them. Also add honey to glaze the sauce, or add sugar if you want to stick with the vegan option, but glazing is easier with honey. Then cook it for a few minutes over medium to low heat. The texture of the sauce is gonna change as it cook, and it gets thick and sticky. When the sauce gets a little bit sticky, put the patties back in the pan and cook with the sauce for another few minutes. Be careful not to burn the sauce, but keep cooking until it gets the nice slightly thick texture. Now let's build burgers! But don't forget to keep the teriyaki sauce in the pan because we will spread the delicious sauce on the buns later. I'm gonna make the teriyaki burger in three styles today. First one is a classic teriyaki burger. On the bottom part of the pan, spread a little teriyaki sauce and place the patty on it. Then place some lettuce and the special lemon mayo sauce. The mayo sauce is very light and tasty, so don't be afraid to use it a lot. Then spread the teriyaki sauce on the top of the bun again, and put it on the lettuce. It's done! What is the best side for burgers? Of course, we can miss french fries. So I cooked some french fries and now I have this beautiful teriyaki burger meal set. The teriyaki sauce has a rich and sweet savory taste, and the lemon mayo has a creamy and lemony freshness to it. It's so wonderful, and made me miss the Japanese McDonald's, but I got this delicious teriyaki burger at home with some beer. Super happy! Next one is a teriyaki avocado burger. I sliced a tomato and avocado, and I added a few pieces of them in the burger. 
It adds more freshness from the tomato and richness from the avocado. And for some reason, when we see more veggies, we feel less guilty. This time, as I said, I just added some sesame oil and seaweed powder in the chips and mixed them. The last one is a double teriyaki burger. Just added it one more patty on the classic teriyaki burger, but it was something. So tasty and filling. The teriyaki sauce with the lemon mayo and lettuce is wonderful. The burger texture is cooked in such a way with a little char that you can't really tell it's plant based meat. Hope you liked my recipe and try it sometime. Thank you for watching and see you again. Matane!